Hi friends, very good morning. Welcome to Anu Academy. Very good morning friends. In today's class, in our channel, we are going to discuss quantitative analysis for business decision. Okay. So today's subject is QABD, quantitative analysis for business decisions. So this subject is for information technology branch. So present uh, third year, second semester. Okay. So today's class, I have prepared the entire syllabus, which is uh, allotted for you. So especially it is an uh, open elective. So you should understand the syllabus properly. Once you are proper with this uh, syllabus, then you can go for your preparation perfectly. Okay. So the thing is, you should know what is what uh, in the syllabus, then you can start uh, going ahead with your preparation. Okay. So let us start today's class. So you know, we have five units. So five units, I have classified the syllabus exactly very easily. So it is uh, very easy to understand. We'll discuss one by one. Okay. So if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel. Please like and share our channel. Okay. Now we'll start discussing. See, unit one is there. So from unit one, we know unit one it is uh, related to linear programming problem. So from linear programming problem, we are having graphical method and simplex method. Okay. And apart from this graphical and simplex method, artificial variable is there. And from this artificial variable, there is a possibility of getting a question from the big M method. Okay. Now big M method. So this is about the first unit. And the second unit, transportation is there. See, second unit is of uh, classified into two topics. First topic is it is about the transportation and second is uh, it is about the assignment problem. Okay. So again from transportation we are having subtopics. Okay. So first is uh, how to find out the optimal solution and uh, first method coming under this transportation is northwest corner rule and second method is least cost or matrix minima method and third method is Vogel's approximation method. Okay. So from these three methods definitely you will get a question. Okay. So either from northwest corner rule or least cost or matrix minima method or Vogel's approximation, definitely you will get one question. Okay. So if you see our previous year's question papers, you are getting a question either from a graphical method or simplex method. Very rare cases we find a question getting from this uh, big M method. Okay. So like that, uh, the scheme is prepared for this uh, uh, subject question paper. Next uh, assignment problem, you can see Hungarian method is there. Unbalanced assignment problem, the traveling salesman problem. Okay. So most of the cases we are getting the question uh, from assignment problem. The method is uh, the traveling salesman problem. Okay, so as I told you, unit two is of two topics. First is about the transportation, and second is about the assignment. So these are the methods coming under this transportation, and these are the few methods coming under this assignment problem. Okay. Now we'll discuss unit three. So you can see unit three replacement replacement of equipment. So the unit three is very small. It is only about the replacement. Okay. So when we are going to replace, at what is the uh, mode of replacement? Right. When cost is uh, changing uh, what is the factor of the cost of our replacement like that all these things we can understand under this replacement chapter so replacement of equipment that fails suddenly okay we can see group replacement or single replacement like that we can understand under this one and value of money does not change with the time value of money changes with the time okay this is unit 3 so it's, if you see unit 3 is the only the uh, single uh, model is there under the replacement so it is very easy to prepare unit 3 okay so next uh, unit four game theory again unit four is of uh, two types it is divided it is classified into two models first is game theory and second is the decision theory two theories are there in unit four so under this game theory payoff is there types of games the maximum and minimax principle games without saddle point that is the mixed strategies okay so definitely you may get a theory question also regarding this game theory sometimes you may get theory question or sometimes you get get problem regarding this game theory so whatever it is there we get ready for your examination we're studying this uh, all these subtopics okay so next uh, decision theory is there in this decision theory decision making under risk decision trees are there and evc expected value criteria is there okay coming under this uh, decision theory so unit four as i told you unit four is of two classified into two theories first is the game theory and second is the decision theory so like this based on this uh, you can start your preparation and last unit you can see here unit uh, five in this uh, unit five it is about queuing theory again unit five is of uh, two types unit 5 is classified into two types one is the queuing theory and second is the simulation in this queuing theory we can understand the queuing models and uh, first come first service okay like this we can, we can understand the queuing models and simulation of two types types of simulations analog simulation computer simulation in this one technique is there that is monte carlo technique which we practice under this uh, simulation okay so these are the five units for your qabd exam for your upcoming semi uh, present uh, uh, semester examination okay so based on this you can uh, prepare your topics okay so first is of uh, linear programming linear programming graphical or simplex 
uh, to uh, artificial variable, the big B method. Unit, two, unit 2 is transportation and assignment. Unit 3 is the replacement. Unit 4 is the game theory and decision theory. 5 is the queuing and the simulation. Okay. So if you need any additional information, if you are having any doubts regarding your preparation, uh, I am ready to help you. Okay. So please post in the comments box. Definitely I will give you a reply. Okay. So all the best for your exams. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.